Hey guys, welcome to the one on one in 10, where you get to see your favorite indie artists from around the world one on one in 10 minutes. I'm your host, Ayasha Roberson, and I'm back with a new artist for this week. So, this group is they have this really nice rock, soulful sound. Their music is really about finding yourself, really finding what's the true purpose of who you are as a person and I just like their music I like their style um and they just have this uniqueness about their uh their voice I, I like the way the harmonize and everything that comes together as this group so without further ado help me welcome Caleb Mullins and the witness yay hey well thanks for having me Welcome. So can you tell us a little bit, how did you get started as an artist? How did you come up with the group? And what were your musical influences? Yeah, so music has kind of been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. Um, that was kind of, I think I've been singing <laughs> pretty much my whole life. Um, so it was just always something that I was interested in. I come from a fairly musical family. Um, so I grew up in eastern Kentucky. So, you know, family get togethers are, hey, bring your guitars and the banjo and let's sit around the fire and you know sing together. So just kind of started there and um, took off pretty much from the beginning playing and singing. Uh, started with piano and eventually picked up a guitar and it was over from that point. <laughs> I, was, I was sold. Um, so, yeah, and just grew up playing, you know, in different groups. We had little local bands and stuff at home, uh, played at church, things like that. And uh, a few years ago, I moved to Knoxville, graduated college, um, and was kind of ready to start writing and playing my own stuff um, and needed a band. <laughs> so okay. just kind of looked around, uh, met some great friends, and we've been playing together now for about three years, and we just have a blast together. Uh, it's just um, fun. I love it. And I can definitely see the evolution of how you first started out to where you are now and it seemed like you had this more of this maybe a country type of um background and it kind of yeah. evolved to where it is now where you have this more of a, i feel like it's more of a, a rock type of background yeah, yeah it, that's for sure somebody uh somebody told us <laughs> they, they were out at one of our shows and they came up to us and they said you guys sound like johnny castro nirvana had a baby <laughs> like, that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me <laughs> that's interesting yeah. so you actually got your own musical style like you don't sound like anyone so you just have your own influences you have your own voice and I think as artists that's very hard for especially independent artists to really find their own voice and their own sound yeah I mean it's been tough for us to try to describe our our genre or our style just because it is I mean I feel like it's kind of a melting pot of you know my influences but also our band's influences like we I kind of write most of the songs but as I bring them to the band it's this collaborative process of making them our own that's um, so great it's fun. yeah and I didn't mean to cut you off a little but um I think that's what makes y'all not boxed in because you you know, you can versatile and kind of have a little influence of some, maybe some jazz and rock, some some country, a little bit of, you know, a mixture of all of it. So it kind of allows for you to have your own type of, you know, style. And I, 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 that's one of the things I like about your band and, and the music that you create. Now, can you tell us a little bit, we touched a little bit about the challenges, but can you be a little bit more specific? What are some of the challenges you have as an artist versus some of the success you have as an artist as well? Yeah, um, honestly, just making your way on your own is tough. Um, just being independent and trying to get our music in front of people. Um, that's that's the hardest part. Um, and, you know, we, we love that challenge. We kind of like the, the indie mindset of, you know, we're going to figure out how to do this. We're going to work hard on our own. But... Um, getting your foot in the door and, and getting in front of people can be difficult. Um, but the success part of that is like when we're at shows around town, we're in Knoxville, Tennessee, um, is where we're kind of locally based. Um, and so the successes of that is 
as we play around town and, and it kind of branch out a little bit, people know we're, we're doing this on our own. Um, and so to see people get involved and get excited about the music, um, to see people singing the songs at local spots, that's, that's the fun part of it. Um, that's a success to me. And, you know, the struggles are what they are, but I think it makes every success that much sweeter. Um, you know, you play a bigger venue and it's, it's like, well, a month ago we were playing, you know, some bar on the corner of the street and now we're on a big stage. And, um, so it's, it, it's those kind of things. The successes get a lot more sweeter because of the struggle. I love it. And you're not local anymore. People are around the world want to get to know your band and the music and your sound. And let's talk a little bit about the music. Yeah. So Black Lung, mm -hmm. want to occasion you and re, I think it's reintroduce myself. Yep. Those are the three songs that I really, really like. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Black Lung. How did you come up with the concept for that song? And what made you name it Black Lung? Yeah. Okay. So like I said, I grew up in Eastern Kentucky um, and just kind of growing up in that area of Appalachia, mm. where, you know, coal mine, the coal mining industry is so strong. Um, or at least it was right. Coal's kind of, you know, dying off yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think I was just in a kind of a reminiscent mood of home um, and thinking about the struggles of, you know, the people from that area. And so that's where the whole black lung concept comes from. Just knowing that that really affects a lot of people in that area. And um, it's really a song about just struggling with um, the condition of life you're in. There, there's some stuff about struggling with faith and anything more than just, you know, getting through. Correct. Right. Yeah. That's great. I love, I love the fact that you are able to turn something that affected your specific area but also it, everyone can relate to a struggle. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what I think that what makes your music so authentic mm -hmm. and so relevant mm -hmm. as well. And mm -hmm. that's a that's a gift because like we mentioned before, most artists have a hard time trying to get those two things together, mm -hmm. especially in the music. It can be scary to put yourself out there like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I mean, that the music that I love is when you can tell you're really getting who the artist is. Um, and so that's what we've tried to do with our stuff. Now, let's talk a little bit about Cajun You. That's a more up tempo song, got a nice little beat to it. So how did you come up with that? Oh, man, that one that one came out of a really tough uh, relationship situation. Oh. Yeah. Um, so... I don't know if you've ever been in a spot where you feel like you're holding on to something that just wants to be let go. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, that's pretty much what that whole song came from. It's just that experience of, you know, I don't, I don't know how to keep you without literally. Changing you in. Yeah. And so <laughs> that relationship came and went and those feelings were pretty strong and valid, but yeah, it, it all came out of that struggle. Wow. And the last song reintroducing myself. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with that song concept and what is that about? Yeah, I mean, it, it's wild because all of these songs that are going to be on the album coming up next month kind of flow out of that relationship a little bit. Um, and so reintroduce myself is, is kind of that idea of, you know, you've tried a bunch of stuff. Um, you've tried different ways of, uh, you know, making sense of your life. Mm -hmm. and really, it just comes down to you've got to let go of, all those things that you thought you were and actually discover who you really are. Yes. Um, so that's, that's kind of the, the hope with that song is literally ripping the mask off and Love it. finding yourself. Now, when is the new album coming out? When should we expect for this to drop? Yeah. So October 14th, um, Yay. October 14th, it's called old ghosts, new stories. Wow. I love it. So it'll drop on the 14th. Oh, close new stories. I like that. And it's right before Halloween, guys. So make sure you grab that. This is this is definitely a, a story. Yeah. Myself, this this album coming up. I feel like it's gonna, I gotta get that old ghost new story. Mm -hmm. That's a nice title too. 
Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. And can you tell our fans how can they follow you? How can they connect with you to get you to your group to come to their, you know, event to book you for a show? Yeah, absolutely. So we're on every social media at Caleb Mullins and the Witness. It's Caleb with a K. Um, if you spell Caleb with a C, I don't know who you'll find. But <laughs> it's one of Caleb Mullins and the Witness with a K. Um, and our, our website too, Caleb Mullins and the Witness.com. You can email us there, uh, find all of our show dates. And uh, we'd love to come play wherever you're at. So shoot us an email, get in touch with us, and we'd love to come out. Yes. And thank you so much, Caleb, for being on the show. And I'm looking forward to purchasing your album, dropping on October 14th. And thank you guys for watching the 101 in 10, where you get to see your favorite artists from around the world, 101 in 10 minutes. Make sure you check out our show and make sure you go to his website, which we're going to have at the bottom of this um, video. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Take care and continue to stay positive. Bye, guys.